What is going on, everyone? Badger here. Should have liked and sub, and let's get into this. You know, one of the big things that we all learned in uh, Gamergate, both part one and two, was just how connected the legacy gaming journalists and uh, gaming sites were connected, you know, with the developers and the publishers, and uh, just... <laughs> if not corrupted, certainly all mixed up. And it's not just that. We've also learned it's those, those bigger YouTube channels, the ones that want to maintain access. We see this with movies too, but uh, they're they're compromised in their own way. And uh, sometimes it's not even the publishers or the developers doing it. It's third parties who work for them. And that's what we're seeing in this case. So German YouTube channel removes their Star Wars Outlaws preview video after admitting that a third party agency has to admit uh approve it rather and you can see here after uh spending four hours with the game and releasing their hour-long preview it got rejected by a third party agency and they had to remove it and uh normally i would go to the source but the source is in german so i'm gonna have to rely on the translations here but in a post to youtube piet smith shared that they removed their star wars outlaws preview from their channel and here's the translation of the message that they said uh hi peter here we've taken the star wars video offline not because we wanted to sweep something under the carpet or anything but because it should never have been published and we don't want it on the channel well which is literally sweeping under the carpet but okay we'll talk a bit more about this in the next piet cast episode i'm sorry and it's like all right that's a little little hinky. That's a little weird. Uh, the post came in the wake of the comment revealing that a third-party agency had to approve all Star Wars Outlaws preview videos. And so, again, uh, I have to read the translation for this. Uh, it says, I completely understand the arguments that were made here and that were not correct. I had the opportunity to play the game for four hours, and it was edited into over an hour of video. As part of the review process, the entire video was thrown back to us, and an intermediary agency, not Ubisoft, but clearly one that works for them, asked for a lot of change. What wonder? What would they change in his review, I wonder? Uh, especially to the wording at the beginning. But since I personally thought the game was really cool, I didn't see that as a big problem. This was a huge miscalculation. Uh, he said, sorry you don't have to pre-order a game. Of course, you can buy whatever you like with your money. I absolutely enjoyed the version. I was shown the process behind it uh, was for the ask. And I'm sorry that we did. This is, again, a deep L translation. So, so the point is, I think he gave a positive. They're even saying here, uh, someone that was able to view the video um, was able to tell Park Place that he liked the game and he was encouraging viewers to pre-order the game. Um, now, I don't know why they would want him. Do you think they would be happy with that? Um, but video, we can see here, the the only other thing is he might have said other negative things. That So his positive didn't wash out the negative things he said, even if overall he liked it. And so uh, as pointed out here by YouTuber Total Biscuit, uh, his got hit, uh, the, the uh, copyright struck his video after they previous, uh, previously had given him a review code, but didn't like what he had to say. Uh, long story short, devs send codes. Codes are used to make critique. Devs dislike critique. Devs abuse the censor, uh, censors to, cr to critique. Jesus Christ. They abuse their abilities to censor, and then they do that to censor the critiques. Again, and here's Jeremy from the 199. Shout out Geeks and Gamers showing how Naughty Dog did this. They were striking everyone with dmcas back during uh the second uh last of us and you know that fun thing that happened to joel and uh just continued this is just more and more going over that yeah they will give out codes and if they don't like what you say uh well and uh here we go rotten tomatoes critic admits they give fake positive reviews to maintain their access like i said it's not just in video games it is also in movies and it's really in your time in any sort of reporting uh and then this is also just uh uh eves Goulemont from uh ubisoft talking about star wars outlaws saying that they've spent the most largest marketing campaign on the game even though it is getting a huge it's getting destroyed online for all of its bugs and the horrible ai uh the, the one hit knockdowns where everyone just drops their gun or something you know an 80 pound chick uh just, just punching in the other big one is her looks uh he's getting a lot of feedback on the looks of like the disparity between the actual actress and what the in game models uh and i mean they're not wrong by the way they are not wrong. Uh, you could see how we used to have it before Disney. God, we were in a golden age. And to with Disney. And yeah, I mean, no matter which picture you pick, 
the original one is better. And basically, uh, the game director tried to say the case meant to be approachable and a petty thief, blah, blah, blah. It's a lot of ways to say that she's supposed to be humbly and not super attractive. But it's like, man, you didn't do her any favors. And I, I don't know about girls, but I certainly don't want to play as this character. I mean, hell, if I have to play as a chick, she might as well be a hot one. Just saying. Uh, maybe we'll get the ability to change her hair. Um, he told Game Informer, I think she's much more of a modern protagonist than we usually see in games. And yes, I think that's why everyone seems so turned off by her. We're tired of modern things, especially when you try to go to that modern audience. Anyway, let me know what you think of this. Are you going to be playing this game at all? Or like the more you see, the less you want to. And maybe you'll check it out if it comes on Game Pass. Let me know. I probably won't even play it for free. Be sure to like, share, and sub if you have done that. Thank you. If you're going to do that, thank you. Well.